Good morning. So today is Monday and I decided to do like another vlog and I figured that I would just do it for the whole week and put in anything that I'm doing during the day. Well, it depends, I guess, how long it is, but I don't have a whole lot planned. Um, I woke up early this morning. I had some eggs for breakfast and then I started working on some stuff for my class for next year because I found out that 17 of my students are fully registered so I can start making things with names on them um, at least for the time being and then I'll only have one student that's missing so it'll be easy for me to go back and just add their name in quickly but I can show you so I decided that I wanted to put like labels in their cubbies and actually have them taped down this year I'm sorry if that fan's loud let me try to turn it off but I wanted to make labels for um, the cubbies so I downloaded this which is like um, I think it was like Ashley Hughes it was a freebie Apple like frame thing and I'm just gonna put in text boxes and write their names in first and last names to put in their cubbies so I'm gonna work on that and then I'm going to go to the gym at some point and that's about it for right now I'm going to work on printing some other things out and I can share those with you as I work on them but I want to get all of like my color copies and things done today and get all of like my computer stuff done today so that tomorrow I can run errands. Okay so my update is that I really haven't gotten a whole lot done. I mean I have gotten a lot done it's just I've been working for three hours now and I still haven't gone to the gym because I'm still working on everything but I mean this is a look at the progress so I started printing a bunch of stuff out for apples like this right here is for apples and I'm still working on laminating but the problem is is that well now I'm out of laminating sheets like these are the last that I have so I need to order more laminating sheets from Amazon I'm getting my Amazon order together now these are all laminated this whole pile is all laminated there's like a bunch of stuff here this is all stuff that's laminated that I need to cut out I made like my name tags and stuff for their cubbies I made a bunch of signs that need to be cut out and taped together this is like the count the days thing for the calendar um, area and I decided this came from a pack from a dab of glue will do and it's like a sort um, but I want I'm gonna use these in their cubbies and label the hook where I want them to hang their backpack on so all of this stuff I cannot do anything with yet because I don't have anything left to laminate it but I'm just going to continue printing out things and then I'll just have to laminate it when I get more laminating paper. Um, I did get a little sidetracked because I got, well, I started going through some emails. Um, oh, you guys can't see me. Hold on. I started going through some emails from work and I got a little bit sidetracked doing that. Um, and I need to, um, send some, I, in the emails like they let me know that I needed to send some things out to duplicating so I have to log on to my um, email and print them from my desktop at school and I, w I really wish that I could get into my room because today would be one of those days where I 
could go in and just like organize that cabinet and spend the day doing that but I can't get in there so it's not the end of the world but basically what I was doing is um hold on I was looking on Pinterest for things for apples and then I'm going to go through my um, documents on my computer at school and my documents on my computer here and make sure that there's nothing else that I need to like make for centers and I'm just trying to go through and do that for like all of the um, units that I work on so slowly but surely I will get it done okay so I've made a little bit of progress and I still haven't gone to the gym and it's starting to get really hot in my apartment and that's deterring me from going to the gym but I'm probably it's about 1 30 now and I'll probably go to the gym around 3 but I can give you a look at what I worked on so far so I have pants on that looked like I didn't have pants on so I made this sign uh, it just says days in school the reason why I made this is because I printed out um, like these I don't have them in here but they're these like tens frame things here we can bring you to them there are tens frames and basically every day you put a um, a sticker on them and it tracks the days and it exposes the kids to 10 frames so it goes all the way up to 120 but there's where it starts so like you could use apples for september is the way that i saw it done and i don't know about i might do velcro pieces though just because i'm thinking if i use oh I'm sorry, they've been weed whacking and mowing all morning. If I use um, stickers, that's going to be really hard to get off. So I might use Velcro pieces. Um, so there's that that I have to cut out. So that's what that sign goes with. I made like, I don't really want to like show you these very detailed, but I made um, Apple poster, like Apple labels for the kids cubbies. And then I also made a couple of other signs. So let's see. When I did my Target haul, I said, let me grab it. That way you can see it. But I said that I would use the Apple clip thing to display um, really well done like center work. So I made this sign to go with it. And it just says amazing. Oh, I wish I could. amazing work so I'm just gonna have this hung up over this like that that's the second thing that I made then I also have a data wall in my classroom and we're required to so I made one really big one that says pre-k data wall and basically all it is is just like a clip chart that has a bunch of um, different like objectives like one of them is for uppercase letters lowercase letters letter sounds and numbers 220 so that's what I have on my data wall and I'm trying to think what else I'm working on I ran out of laminating pouches I still haven't placed my Amazon order I'm going to do that soon before I go to the gym. Um, I've been cutting out some things and then I got kind of tired of it, but I'll finish cutting out the rest of stuff. I'm going to go through and make sure that I have all of my Apple stuff printed out. I'm going back to printing and things and see where I end up. I was thinking about making some Teachers Pay Teachers products today. Like I wanted to do um, like coupons 
but I don't know if I would really want to implement that in my class. It's something that I've been going back and forth with is implementing coupons for like a reward system for superstar behavior. And then I'm also thinking about um, making some task cards just to have for like extra center fillers because I try to give my kids three choices at each center. So I have three drawer Sterilite drawer containers and for like the writing center there will be three choices like sometimes it's like magic boards, dry erase boards, and like the letter of the week paper. So I was thinking if I have task cards it would be really easy to make another choice. Also I need to work on stuff for science centers. I was definitely lacking in that area this year and I need to think of some other things to do for that. And that's about it for right now. Okay, so today is Tuesday. Yesterday, I kind of like gave up on doing anything outside of the apartment because when it was time to go to the gym, it started torrential downpouring, um, thunder and lightning, and like my road was literally flooded. So I gave up on that and I just worked on some stuff at home and then went to bed basically and then today I had plans to go to the gym as soon as I woke up it's 9 57 now I was up at like 9 o'clock which is really late for me I had plans to go to the gym right as soon as I woke up but I didn't go because my phone was dead so my phone is charging and when that's done I'm going to go to the gym I placed an order on Amazon yesterday, last night when I was stuck at home. And I'm going to do a haul when it comes in, but I got like some really good deals on stuff. I was excited, especially because I missed Prime Day because I was away on vacation and didn't have any service. So that should be good. Um, I'm going to try to work on some more school stuff again today and I'll check in when I know more. See you okay, so I just got back from the gym and before I left, I like put this to upload and it's still at 63%. So there's that. Hopefully that'll upload quickly. Um, I need to work on my never ending laundry because after we got back from the lake, I have a ton of bedding to do. Ooh, I'm like pink. A ton of bedding to do and a ton of towels. And like, look, this is so bad. So this is all stuff to go to like Plato's closet, which I might plan to do today, but who knows if I'll get to it. This is a bag of laundry. This is a bag of laundry. This is a bag of laundry more laundry and there's a whole thing of towels in here so I'm going to get going on the laundry And after I get out of the shower, I'm going to work on a couple things for um, Teachers Pay Teachers. And uh, then I might go meet a friend out for a little bit. So I've been working. Whoa. I've been two hours on trying to upload a video. I accidentally uploaded it twice and then I deleted the wrong one. So then I had to re-edit it in order to upload again and then I can delete the one that was actually the right one to delete. I'm just frustrated. Um, I don't really know like 
I feel like this vlog is boring because I'm not, I'm just not really doing anything that interesting today. Um, like I said, I might go and do something later today, but there's just not like a whole lot that I'm doing. I'm working on stuff for school. But other than that, like there's not a whole lot that I'm doing. So I feel like this might be kind of like boring for you to watch. But I don't know, you're just gonna have to let me know. Okay, so the plans are that I am going to go meet up with a friend. We're gonna go on just like this little like bike trail, walking trail, and go on a walk. And then we might go to the pool. But, um, oh, I can show you. I was working on a new Teachers Pay Teachers product and I saw somebody posted like this product and it was like a monthly oh, I am sweaty it's really hot out today guys it was like a monthly um like writing prompt type thing and it had a spot on it where the kids could write their name and then it had a spot where they could draw a picture and it had the month and it had clip art around it but I would have purchased it except for the fact that I have like a separate um, monthly name writing thing that I do with them is an assessment every month which is in my teachers pay teachers store and I can link it down below but I wanted in order to stay on track because I do a drawing prompt with my students every week like or not every week every month and I just let them do a free draw and it shows a lot of progression from the beginning of the year to the end of the year but I would forget to do it sometimes when I got busy so I figure if I have a piece of paper for every month I can stay on top of it better but basically sorry let me show you what I have so this is what I've started so far and it's just going to be a monthly drawing journal so this is like one cover here's the other cover I don't think that I'm going to use the covers personally I'm just going to send out copies of each month slide to duplicating and the students are going to be able to use the space in the center as a free draw area and then that way I don't even have to put like a um, a date stamp on it or anything it's already all done I have September through August included and I already put in my thank you page in TOU so and I'm working on making the cover for it so that's where that stands right now and I'm dressed I changed into these are the same shorts that I wore the other day but it's okay I changed into stuff to wear for our walk and I'm gonna get going because it's so nice out. I don't want to waste the nice day so I'll check back in with you later good morning everyone today is Wednesday I'm trying to think so yesterday I ended up going to meet a friend for a walk and I forgot my camera and I got back and I was really sweaty and I was tired and I didn't do much else so I kind of just like ended the vlog there abruptly this morning I'm getting ready to go to the pool but I'm not going to bring my camera with me just because I feel like the person that I'm going with wouldn't feel comfortable with me like videoing there but um, I'm basically just going to do a couple things um, to get ready. I'm going to pack like a little cooler and stop at the store to pick up a few snacks. And then I'm thinking about, I'm probably going to end the vlog here for this vlog. Or I might just do the rest of the week. I'm trying to decide because tomorrow I don't have a whole lot going on. And... Friday I have the girls that I nanny for and I don't want to put them in the vlog so we might have one more day we might not I guess we'll just have to see but I'll check back in with you later so this is what I was gonna say so today I'm thinking about doing like a little bit of planning before I leave and I saw Miss Jin's first grade I think her channel is called and she did like a plan with me like curriculum overview yearly like layout and I definitely need to do that and I started doing it yesterday so I think that I'm going to film mine because 
I um, plan completely different than her. Like I start like that, but then once I start planning, I kind of plan by theme just because I teach pre-K and I know that a lot of other kindergarten teachers also plan like that. So I figured that I would share with you how I plan because maybe it can help some of you. So I'm going to film that today. And that's about it. Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday. Um, yesterday, I ended up going to the pool during the day. Oops. And then I went for just like to go out to dinner and like for a drink with my friend. And then this morning, I went out to breakfast. And when well, I'm going to go to the gym in a little bit, but I figured that I would show you a little bit of what I worked on yesterday. So I started to create like a um, curriculum planning type thing on the computer and I printed it out and I started working on it. And basically I only started working on September because I don't have all of my uh, curriculum maps yet. And I'm sure that we'll get the rest of them at my training this coming week but let me show you what I printed out to start working on some of this stuff so this is what I came up with and I'm gonna do like a separate video on this but I thought that I would just give you a sneak peek so this is the page that I'm going to use as like a spread for every month and basically so like here is my week one and then I put the dates and then the topic, the topic, the topic, the topic. And then I have all of these across the top. So books that we're going to be reading, whole group activities, cooking, like anything with like food or snacks, um, finger plays and songs. So this, especially in September, is really helpful because I can map out how I'm going to introduce the songs that we use in the morning. Um... The gold is a new assessment that we're going to be doing, and there's like a bunch of different, um, essentially it's like standards that you're tracking, and you have to make sure that you get like a certain number of these objectives observed, and you have evidence to show them. So I want to make sure that when I'm mapping out my curriculum, I'm also mapping out those things that I need to assess. So that's why I put that in there. It might not be helpful for everybody, but I know that there were some other pre-K teachers that commented that they used gold, so maybe that will be helpful for them. And then I also have a section that says assessments. So my um, monthly drawing prompt, my monthly um, name writing prompt, uh, my letters assessment, my numbers assessment, those I can put down in the week so that I know when I want to do those. And then I just have a miscellaneous column. I figured that I could put any school events or any like extras that we have going on in there. And then the next three pages are just center ideas. Oops. So I have the same layout like week week one, week two, week three, week four, and I can put in the themes and the dates. And then I'm going to write like art in Play-Doh, math, science, sensory, um, what's this? Blocks, cars and Legos, computer or iPad, dramatic play, writing, library, literacy, and fine motor. So I'm just going to track like what I want to put in here for centers and if I need to make any. And then this is kind of how how I started my planning is I printed out these calendars and I just put in like the first day of school and then I'm like tracking where I want my themes to start. That way I can put the dates in on this page and then I have my curriculum maps out also like this. So I think what I'll do is I'll probably work on September and then once I get the rest of my curriculum maps at my training next week I will do like a plan with me for maybe October and then an overview of my whole year in a separate video I think that that might be helpful for some people and then you can see kind of how I plan and then I can also make like this page these pages I can put those in my teachers pay teachers account 
in if you're interested so let me know down below if that's something that you would be interested in purchasing oh and another thing that i was working on sorry about the fan but it's really hot so i'm gonna leave it on but another thing that i was working on on the computer let me see if i can bring it up quickly is i know that i talked about i'm not sure if i already showed this in the vlog or not if i did i'll just edit this out but i've been working on a monthly drawing journal actually i think that i did talk about this but this is going to be in my teachers pay teachers account soon also so basically my only plans well my plans for today are to go to the gym and then work on a little bit of this stuff and then i think that we're going to be going to the fair so that will be fun maybe i'll bring you on um, like a little walk through of the fair um it might not be like a whole lot of face-to-face -face stuff but i might just like record and show what's going on and you know what my favorite part about the fair is i don't know if anybody else is like this but and i don't know if it's just because i'm a teacher and like i get really excited when i see like really talented like children's work but i really like when you go in and they have like all the like artwork from the students from all the different elementary schools in the county that's like my favorite part and nobody ever wants to go and look at it but i always make everybody so i'm excited for that so i'll see you in a little bit i think i'll take you with me and then i'll end the vlog after the fair okay see you soon okay so i went on my run and i did like a quick little like interval workout after i got back and i'm getting ready to leave to go to the fair i didn't get like a whole lot done with my like curriculum planning i did help a teacher a little bit with plan book which is another thing that i was going to ask like would you like it if i did like a plan book tutorial like a planbook.com tutorial and just went over like everything that oh my gosh my hair is crazy but just went over everything that you need to know to be able to utilize plan book in the best way possible let me know if you know if you would like that or not but i think that it might be helpful um so i'm going to get going and i'll check in with you later tonight at the fair okay good morning it is friday i am going to end the vlog here i forgot my camera last night at the fair well no, i didn't forget it at the fair i forgot to bring it to the fair and so therefore there's no clips of that but i did finish that product that i talked about yesterday before i left and so i'm just gonna end it here i hope you had a good week and i will start a new vlog later today or tomorrow see you soon bye